Hey guys, we're gonna be talking about the gear again today. Uh, this is gonna be my second video for the 170 gear. They changed the gear. Uh, today is 11 6 23. Today is Monday. It's the first time that I've been able to come back on uh, live realm since I've leave the patch because the weekend was closed. Um, so I got some important announcements about the gear. Um, I'm not sure if it's crap, like diable yet. I'm pretty sure it's it's not just like that so Reaver in my video um, my first video I did I was looking at the uh, damage so the old video the first one it was 855 health and the new one's 898 health the old pip chance was 9 the new pip chance is 9 the old block rating for this hat was 89 which the, the new one is at 101, so they increase the block, they increase the damage so far. Death accuracy is at 5% uh, on both. Uh, the old one had 6 pierce. The new one's got 7 pierce, so they increased the pierce on that. The old one had 163 uh, death rating. The new one's got 177. They increased that. Uh, the damage was 35 on the old Reaver gear, and the new Reaver gear is 37. And the uh, resist in the old one was 12, and the new resist is 13. So, they've changed the gear. Uh, they for sure changed it. I think they bought everything at Liberation. So. I'm watching one of my old videos. Uh, so, I could kind of compare the to death. death. Alright, for the shirt. Let's try out the shirt. So, I had the Dream Reaver armor. On one of my videos, so let's see. Yup, they increased the health on the new one. Pip chance is the same, block is higher, resist is the same, accuracy is the same, pierce is the same, critical is higher, and the damage is one little tiny thing higher. Still got the same spell on there. Alright. Let me try the boots. Let's just see what the new boots are. There's also another option as well in the, uh, one of my videos. I'm just showing you what it looks like with it on. Alright. And now we're at the boots. In my old video I'm watching right now. Just to kind of get the, you know, look back. So they increased it too as well. Uh, both the Dream Reaver boots to the ones I like. So in the new one, they increased the health. Uh, the old health was 1089. And this one is 1152 for the health. Pip chance is the same. Uh, block is a 159 on this one. It was 147 block on the other one. Both up got the 3% death accuracy, 5 pierce for both, uh, critical rating went to 133, it was 119. Uh, the damage went up one more notch on this one, it was 42, now it's 43. And the resist is 11 on this one, it was it was 10 on the other one. So that's good, alright, alright, so they, they increased the shirt hat boots so far. Let me check out the wand, alright. Ah, the Fell Dream Reaver Boomerang. That one. Alright, alright, alright. Let's see what we got here. Yep, they buffed things up too. New one's got a buffed, uh, the buff block. Critical rating went up 8 for 8. The, uh, death damage went up by 1, so instead of 11, it's 12. And the universal damage is still the same, the pierce is still the same. And the, uh, the pip, the pip, the death pip, uh, conversion rating is higher. And the universal critical is 8% higher. And both got three accuracy. Okay, okay. This is pertaining to pretty much all the other schools that I'm using. It makes it like that. I'm going to show you all the new schools soon. All right, let's go to the ad thing. Fell Dream Reaver Knife. Alright. So the old one was 1098 on the health. It's went up a little bit. Mana is still the same. Pip chance is the same. Block is higher on this one. It's 94 now. Uh, the old uh, universal damage was 14. So it's at 15. And both of the death damages are the same. Still got the same jewel port. Alright, now we're moving on to the amulet. Let's see. Wait, I don't have any of this stuff uh, unsocketed. But 
this one right here at my merciless. Alright, well. Give me one second here. Hey, guys. Trying to find the videos, loading a little bit. Alright, and the one. This is with all Reaver gear on. So at least you got the Shadow Pips, Once which 85 is the base. Trying to see, but you guys get to see what it That's is, what I mean. Off. It's right. pretty much the same resist and damage. So with the 175 jewels. These are just the So, they buff. It seems like they buff the health. They buff the damage. Sometimes in some of the gear, they buff the pierce, maybe like one notch, so they buff the critical. Everything is practically the same, same spell, just a little bit higher. I remember the art uh, master rating on this one was like 45, and it's like 55 now, so yeah. They definitely uh, buff the gear up. It's good. So it looks like we're getting more damage, more resist, more pierce with the gear. That's what we need, right? I mean... Definitely could probably get about 190 without the jewels, because the jewels are still the same. So the jewels are still all the same over there. You know, you got different health and blocks for each school. As you can see, that's just for the square ports. You still got all your little circle 10 damage jewels, just like in the video. Critical, and these are actually 10%, not 10 add on. These are actually percentage, so it actually increases your main damage up then, which is good. Alright, so it looks like for the death gear at least it's buff, and I'm assuming they follow the same pattern for all the other schools. So just in case you guys uh, missed that, I am going to show you every single gear of every school. You guys might want to pause the video, just so you can see what you like. Fire. Uh, ice. Storm. There's like two different types of gears for each one. So we got the myth now. Life. And balance. Alright, that's done for the hats. Now we're going through the shirts. And I'm just rocking basic merciless gear on. They reset everybody in uh, the beta realm, so I was 170 when I was doing my guides. I'm glad I went ahead and got the guides done for you guys. Um, they did stop it, apparently. Part 9 with the uh, spoiler. The spoiler wall at the end, so we really don't know what the final area is going to look like until the uh, spoiler wall goes away. So it's kind of sad they reset my... Uh, let me set my level and everything that I had on here. But it's okay. They just wanted to update stuff. And they're also talking about for guilds too. Um, in, the, in, the, in a patch, they got guilds museum. What you got to unlock. And they're talking about guilds museum. And I got to pull up the page. Uh, one second. Let me see if I can pull up the page here. They were talking about the museums of uh, having like certain, like a fountain or something you can unlock, and the fountain gives you like potions or something that give you like more reason. I believe. Let me give me one second here. Pulling it up. Let me look at the patches. Floating now. So, for the guild, it says introducing the guild museum. All right, let me go ahead and do this. I'm reading. It says, Welcome to the Guild Museum where you can immortalize your guild's adventures through a spiral. The Avalon Gallery can now be unlocked with the help of players in your guild. Speak to Finn Stealthus on the Guild Island to get started. First, your guild must unlock the Museum Island. So it looks like we, it looks pretty cool from the pictures. Uh, I can try to put some pictures up on another video here soon. Maybe I can show you. It says, on Museum Island, you'll find a druidic device called a Prima Magnus. 
which grants elixirs that allows you to collect the uh so this gives you the power to prime a magnus whatever that is i have no clue what that is yet is your girl will need to craft a quintessent core once powered the prima magnus will stay active for a few minutes looks pretty cool kind of looks like a wishing well but like it's got little stones all around it then you got like a stone arch kind of like a doorway but without the door being there so just like the frame it's all stone uh it's like a green rock with little glowing symbols on it i'm not exactly sure it says use the prima magnus two more players must cast magic touch on the prima magnus to get prima magnetism elixir the Prima Magnetism Elixir, which will collect one Prima Materia on an artifact. Six to eleven players receive a standard Prima Magnetism Elixir. Which collects twelve more players receive superior Prima Magnetism, which casts three Prima Material artifact. All right, and it's saying once all the exhibits have been promoted, perform. Promotion, ritual gallery, podium, to promote the entire gallery. Galleries also have three tiers, bronze, silver, and gold. Promoting the gallery unlocks rewards. So it looks like you use that Prima Magna to unlock stuff in like the gallery, like the museum. Maybe like, maybe certain areas in the museum, or maybe like picture frames or something. I'm not exactly sure. I have no clue. I'm looking at it. it kind of looks like it's got like Avalon statues. Like you got the King uh, King Artorius, and you got the Fox with little sword statue aiming down. That's one thing that's coming in. We got the new beast, the uh, Moon Forms, Fire Fairy, Best Croc Mummy, Life Rat Thief, uh, Balance Elf, Death Colossus. And they got some PvP changes coming up too as well. I don't really know exactly what they did to them. Um, it says it's for the heal over time spells. And the spells affected are Berry Surprise Storm Spell. Got Dark and Stormy. That is going to be that Storm Squid Spell. The uh, Novus, I believe. It's either Novus or... No, it's not Novus. It's the Caramel one, I believe. And Regenerate. And hungry regenerate and hungry caterpillar. Hungry caterpillar's life regenerate is that life spell that little finger comes down with the clouds. That's that. And for the guild the housing item it says limit increase to 450 when all islands are unlocked. So that means your inside housing item limit and the outside limit both can be 450 when all islands are locked. Uh, they got some museum housing items added pedestal, large, small, bench, fern base. Uh, museum equipment artifacts now have icons. Hammock should now be visible. Few housing items, extra weak. Not sure what kind of hammock you're talking about. Sounds pretty cool, like a little chill, something to lay in. Not exactly sure. Alright, now we're on the deck. Alright. Well, they got some updates, which is not bad, but... Looks like they're doing some stuff on guilds. Maybe we can check on guilds after. Uh, I'm not gonna have enough money, I don't think, for all the aids off, because it takes so much money for aids off. If you're in the test realm. If you didn't know, it takes a ton of money. Alright, that's it for that. Uh, I'm going to go check my guild out really quick. Showed you guys in one of the videos. We're just going to check the guild and see what's new. See where this museum is. And it's probably just downloading my guild island right now. To speak. Downloaded pretty well already on uh, the live game. That's where I showed you guys my guild at the one time. As you can see, all the boxes and everything. <laughs> yeah, let it all download. Alright, let's... Let's find out where this guild is. Uh, 
That's Raid Island. That's empty. I'm trying to make sure there ain't like nothing there. Right, yes, empty. That's the guild hall. We got Levy Lake over here. This is Guild Manor. Uh, we've been trying to unlock this. It's so hard. We're like 65% complete. It's, it's just hard because everybody gets burned, like, burned and just, like, tired and exhausted and, like, farming the, uh, farming the A's off. So, this is the Guild Conservatory that's already unlocked. So, maybe it's on this side somewhere. Maybe there's something on the. Oh, I see it right there. That is it. So, we're right here by the lake, to the right side of the lake. It's gonna be right here. This is gonna be the Guild Museum. I believe. It won't even let me press X because it's just downloading everything. But this looks like where the Guild Museum is gonna be. Uh, there is the uh, PvP island right over there, the Arena Island. Got that done. They said maybe they added some other stuff. I just wanna see, like, what you need to uh, get it unlocked, but we gotta let everything download. I'm uploading a video right now on like the spell guide. You guys should probably check that out too. If you guys uh, having some hard time questing, or if you think you uh, got everything you know, you think, like you got every spell you think you're good with, and you watch my video, you might find something like, oh yeah, I didn't think about that. Or, oh, I didn't know we could do that. It might make your damage, you know, get doubled or something. Or get some good extra stats. More techniques you can use. I'm just waiting here. I know there's a lot of stuff on this island we got. You got all the dragons that downloaded. You know, he sees downloading gifts and all the iron. So that's how the start of it. We got it. So that way, whenever you go to that guild island, you get some, uh, you get some gifts and free, your free dailies. So it looks like there's a guy. Yep, Finn Seltz. He hasn't loaded yet. That's the new ah, guy. So you wish to build a museum to immortalize your adventures through the spiral? Hmm. Indeed, the ancients had a unique method of recording such knowledge. My twin brother Ian is the brains to my brawn, and he has been studying this lost tradition of memoria mundi. But he needs something to put theory into practice. Quintessence, which is beyond my ability to craft. Though I do know that the Royal Museum in Marleybone has a book on display called Alchemia Profatuis. It should have the recipe for quintessence. Bring me that book and ah. we can establish a museum here for your guild. I want to try. I, I wonder if we actually got to get it unlocked. He's a bunch of stuff. So let's go to Marleybone really quick while we got time. So apparently there's a recipe book in Marleybone. Oh, also the reset it because like I had on on the beta, the original beta of the Wallaroo bundles I did. My maze wasn't uh, done yet. It was like before I started my maze, and then they reset it to like a current upgrade. So yeah, I got my maze done. I got it done now. It was a Halloween maze I made. So let's try Marley Ball if it is downloaded. Yeah, of course, <laughs> needs to download like everything. Oh, well, at least it's downloading fast, you know what I mean? See, so yeah, you got keep aware of that, and maze this way. It's pretty fun. I've had a lot of people like my, uh, like my mazes. I'm definitely in the top 100 of, like, best mazes, like, at least top rated mazes. Alright, Molly Bone Hub. And, of course, I got the little camera that it zooms to, like, where the end of it is. Alright, let's go to Marleybone. We gotta go to the Royal Museum, he said. There's some kind of book there. I don't know if it's gonna cost gold for the recipe. We've got a teeny bit of crowns. I know the Royal Museum is like on the left. I just want to make sure. Oh, never mind. That's straight ahead. My bad. <laughs> I always get confused and think that's the museum over there. It always gets me. But it's over here. So we gotta find this book recipe to get something crafted. I'm probably not gonna be able to get the museum open. 
uh, on this guild, but we can do it. So where did he say it was? We're at the Royal Museum. Let's check the map. Anything in here? So really not. Where would I find the book at? Where's the photo? Oh, there you go, guys. You got a free photo. I thought maybe it would be our character somewhere over here. That's that's for that cross, like early chrysalis stuff, I believe. I know that's part of it. Like, the old storyline. Maybe it's water shot? I don't know. Walter Chaplin. Oh, that might be the book right there. Is this the book? Oh, it is the book. Welcome to the Royal. Ah, in a hurry, eh? Looking for Alchemia Pro Factory? I'm afraid it has been stolen by ruffians. If you could chase them back to Chelsea Court and recover the book, I would be happy to transcribe any recipe from it. All right, said Chelsea Court. Right there, Guild Museum. It gives me quintessence. So we gotta go to Chelsea Court, kill some ruffians, make sure I got my deck right, three set. Yep, sure do. Alright. Might as well put on my mount. I'm much quicker that way. I had a bunch of one day mounts, don't worry. <laughs> I was testing out some packs earlier, just seeing what's in them. Nothing good. Maybe a little bit of energy gear. That wasn't really the best energy gear, but it was just... I bought 12 packs of night Elven Nightmare Packs. Just tested them crowns, so... Since they reset the crowns, too. So we gotta go to Chelsea Court. That's on the right. The ruffians are just the low level NPCs. I mean, I have no clue. Yep, there they are. They're ruffians. Okay. Let me hurry up and cast the spell before the second one comes. <laughs> if I wait too long, the second one will come. If I do it quick enough, then it kills the second one, won't be able to join. Ain't no point in chanting it. This is low level. Looks like I got the book. Now we gotta go to the dog. Alright, what side are we spawn on? Okay, behind me. Alright. Let's go get this recipe and hopefully I can try to see if the museum's already unlocked or whatnot. Not exactly sure. The museum would be pretty cool when they go like you don't have to use it as a museum. You could always make it as like an extra house for your wizards or something, maybe. I don't know. You've recovered Alchemia Pro Factory. Splendid. Ah oh, yes, quintessence. Let's see. Blah blah. Power of the sun. Tears of dragons. Something something. Stargator. And there you go. Do come back anytime. Talk to Finns. Alright. Let's go back to the guild house. I wonder if it unlocks it for the entire guild as like a little thing or if it just unlocks it for a person. I have no clue. I don't know if everybody in the guild would have to do this quest or not. I would assume, maybe. With enough of this quintessence and a sufficient effort of kin trips, you can add a museum island to your guild's domain. Once that's done, meet with my brother Ian, and he'll guide you further. All right, I got the test. It won't show me on the side, but it's. 
Let me just see what it looks like in a few minutes. I know it's alphabetical here, so bear with me. Oop, I just saw it. A mode of with this. It's, it's a region. Uh, it's like it's universal. It's kind of ghost looking soul. So, let's see. What all do we need to unlock? Guild Museum. Oh, that's not bad at all. Well, it did say that uh, that the test round may have lower stuff than the regular. But, uh, what's that? I'll just donate one. Let's just say donate one, right? Yeah. Donate our A's off. One more contestants. Alright, so how do I get that contestant? I have no clue how to get it. <laughs> Maybe Chess Realm Vendor might have it? I'm not exactly sure, I could be wrong. I'm thinking maybe the test room vendor may have that region. Did this test room and I forgot there's no spiral door. Er. <laughs> Gotta go to my house to go back to the Wizard City. So it looks like we're actually gonna be able to see what the guild museum is gonna look like. Alright. And I was about to say, why does Ravenwood gotta download? <laughs> Shouldn't have to, right? Not when I was in Wizard City earlier. Alright. If you guys like my mecha mount, you can buy it in the uh, crown shop and you can also earn it from a boss. I earned it from a boss. It was a Drowned Dan boss and Celestia. It's a key boss. You need a golden key for it. Oh, come on. You don't got the essence, the whatever it was called that I showed you guys a second. I forgot the name. It was like, quick. What's essence? Uh, I was hoping I could have it. Maybe gonna add somebody to the guild really quick. Let me try something. Hmm. I guess their name is Forest Lord. Totally spelt museum wrong. It's always the E and U that get confused. Ah, uh, that's hard to spell. Oh lord. Again, there we go. Trying to find somebody that will help me on this one. Let me just add him really quick. Alright, let me. My friends is skill. Forest Lord, get a cool name. Should be able to port to me. Uh, go down. It may need to download for him. Um, a lot of people haven't been on Guild Jet. Might as well go ahead and add him to the Guild. It's just beta, so it's testing. I know we still got some room for people. We used to be full, but like honestly, I just uh, everybody takes a break from Wiz for a little bit. Some people just get bored, want to do raids. It's fine. Um, we all got burned out doing Azoth. Let me see if he joined the guild. Uh, guild roster, two online, so Forced Lord just joined. Okay. 
I don't know if it's gonna let him talk to that guy. He just and I just like there we go. Tell him to follow me. Okay, good. gonna do that all right uh, let's see one is off is Potessa I don't know how many people I don't know how many people's gotta cast magic touch whenever it gets ready um, that's right. but I'll just wait here for him if he wants me to um, but yeah, that looks it looks like we're gonna see the museum. I'm excited for it. I appreciate uh, this guy for Sword for helping me. Cause like I I mean I could do it myself. I could log on my other account and do it, because when you got other accounts they can help you with stuff like this, but it messes up me making videos sometimes. Is it all to put it in a small box and you guys will have to put like get the screen a little bit closer to your eyes. <laughs> I'll just teleport to him. Might as well, right? Hmm. See, he, he, he was going to Scotland Yard too. He thought that was the Royal Museum. See? <laughs> I'm not the only one that thinks thinks of it and got fooled. You're not the only one, trust me. I'm pretty sure there's like half the people think it is. <laughs> No matter how many times I've done Marley Bowling, I'd still do it. Here he goes, he's got it, he's doing that. I'm gonna go ahead and go to Chelsea Court for him. Go fight that ruffian. Alright. That way, alright. Sorry, when you read the comments, but then always, like, mess it's what direction I am. Dick more. Alright, let's make sure he's not already in Chelsea. Oh, he's a dick more, so he's probably like right behind me or something. Yep, there he is. Alright. Ruffian. I ah, I fingers in the wrong keys over here. Ruffian, not fucking. <laughs> I said fucking. That's funny. Me and my like, like, like fat fingers and like mistyping stuff at bringing keys. Are oh, you using fire dragon? It's good. So much. I'm just really thankful. All right. So it looks like everybody in your guild is able to do this quest, which is good, because it gives you that uh, was essence, whatever it's called. I used to it, tongue twister for sure.
And then I'm just gonna meet up in my guild. I'll just wait on him. He's pretty much get the easy part done. Alright. Got Finn Celtas. Waiting on him. There he goes. All right. Alright, come over there. I'm just gonna go ahead and get out my mount. Alright. Play some stuff, there we go. One player must cast magic touch. So, magic touch, we're just gonna click on the arch. Let's see what the museum looks like. Uh, actually, I think we gotta put it on that. I'm just, we gotta put it on there. One second, about two. I had missed. That was my fault. All right, magic touch. Take five of your energy. There we go. Oh my lord, it is big. Whoa. What is this? The White House? I know it's a museum, but it looks like a big White House going on. There's Ian. This is brother. Uh, a fabulous museum. This will be. Like those grand halls of old. A wondrous locus to display all the Mundus. Yes. Mundi? The world stuff. Yes. Oh, you may call this humble custodian Ian Keltis, curator of the Memoria Mundi. The world memories. I am here to aid in this grand endeavor. In days of yore, the Druidic Order spread to every spiral world and enlisted all its peoples in their adventures and explorations. To cement their bond to each world, they harnessed its prima materia, the most intrinsic essence of matter, physicality condensed and ratified. What Azoth is to magic, <laughs> prima materia is to physical substance. It contains within every particle a memory, a blueprint of what it was harvested from. With enough prima materia, druids created galleries of knowledge, places where worlds could not just be seen, but absorbed. These ancient museums are long lost to history. But it is well past time to revive this wonderful practice with this machine. I call it <clears throat> the Marvelous Prima Magnus. Once activated, it will give you the stupendous, though temporary, ability to absorb the Prima Materia. A magical dust in magical dunes. I wonder if that would help with reads. Of course, the poor thing is tragically inert at present. It must be powered by quintessent cores, you see. Which I can make! With sufficient quintessence and other sundries. You can gather those for me shortly. For now, let me show you how it works. Simply speak with me to craft the quintessent cores needed to power the Prima Magnus. Put that core into the Prima Magnus to prime it. It then requires magical energy to fully activate. At least two wizards, two wizards. must use magic touch okay. to activate the Magnus. If more wizards help, its energy field will strengthen, granting more reward. And this is what the patch says we're talking about. If more people, if you get like 12 people casting on it, it makes it powerful. You get like superior elixirs, Once something activated. like that. The Prima Magnus attunes your mystical aura. To attract Prima Materia. Battle in different worlds to gather this invisible substance. 
battle in different worlds together. It's the just madness a okay. aura will wear off after time. And you will no longer be able to gather Prima Materia until it is reactivated. So you can only gather the Prima Materia when it's got an elixir on, apparently. With this technique, you can gather the substance of worlds without harming them and reconstitute their greatest treasures. Who knows? We may even be able to recreate error unknown zone, error unknown world. What? Unseen in modern times. Speak to me inside when you are ready to begin. That's what it says. Error unknown zone, unknown world. So, Prima, you don't have any quick test scores, okay? But that's the fountain statue I was talking about, guys. In the patch notes, yeah, it's got like the rock gun door arched way without the door. These are the little pedestals I was talking about that they added in. I don't know what you can add into it or whatnot, but let's check out the inside of the museum. It's probably gonna have those statues I was talking about too. Unless that was just... Oh, whoa, look at all those doors, guys. Look at all those doors. That is all the world's doors. That is so cool. Let us immortalize the spiral here in these halls. Which world would you like to begin? With which world would you like to begin? Oh, let's just see crafting. What does this guy do? You need quintessence to make a quintessence core. Oh, then you can make what aids off too. I got some. Let's see, because we gotta make their cores. Let's see the curator. What is this? Choose gallery doors. Empty ending at Avalon. Wait, what? This is kind of cool, but wondering what kind of fights and stuff we're gonna be doing. I'm gonna check out the house too. I just like to look at the doors spinning. I don't know how to spell the darn thing. It's a big thing. Big word. <laughs> Can I go to the door? Apparently I can't go to this door. All these doors are probably good. The druids escaped to Avalon after the purge of Ravenwood. Indeed, that might be the only place where their traditions, which should make it an optimal locus to acquire a regional expert who would manage our Avalon gal. No doubt you can find out of your okay. The opportunity near the library. We're gonna try to get that shrine outside. I think we gotta do the shrine and then get in here to get this. Uh, let's see. He's off should be at the back, I believe. Yeah, there it is. Trying to give him one. Just go that and just click on that. Hey, nothing pops up. Must be per person then. There it goes, me fat fringing again. It's an Ian. Add one of these. Final step. One of two players receive basic. 
Oh, got an hour potion. What does it do? Basic. Mm. Well, we got that done. So we got a. That's an hour potion for at least that long. The basic one. So we need to go to the Avalon door. There we go, the Avalon door. Probably needs to download Avalon or something. Uh, it's not letting me in the door. Mm, kind of confused. Go to Castle Library, Avalon Adder Yard. Okay. But. Museum Curator, Avalon. Let's try Avalon. I mean, it's already on there. Let's see if maybe I'll just fix it up. Worst case scenario, we can still go to Avalon through the house doors. It won't let me through the door. <laughs> That's funny. We try selecting it like the first spot, maybe. Like, empty Avalon. Maybe I'll teleport over here or something. Maybe I can get through here. Let's try it. No? Oh my lord. FBI, open up! That'd be it! <laughs> uh, yeah. Try to go to regular house. Well, still took it to Avalon. Avalon does got to download. Maybe that might have been a problem. Maybe Avalon was downloading or something. I don't know. Either way, we got Avalon. So it looks like we got to go to the library. Go to my mech. All right. Out of yard. Yeah, let me take the little teleporter thing. I didn't. I thought it was gonna be like the regular library, like right down the road. Wait, don't they got an out of yard one? Thought, thought they had one. The wild, thunder, catacombs. Let me try this one and see if this is closer. I don't really remember. There's so many libraries here, it's like crazy. Yeah, out of the yard that way, okay. So it's gonna be a good little walk. Some people like this world. I personally don't really like this world. Wait, is that... Is that a new fishing feature? Oh wait, that's right, it's not new. I haven't got that far in fishing yet. I really enjoyed fishing when they had the uh, zero energy fishing the other week. I got two uh, right up to Dragon Spire and the fishing. Then I got too tired. I couldn't keep up. It was so peaceful. But it took me forever to find that Barracuda in Grizzlyheim. Forever. I had to use like certain spells to get away the level two and like reset the fish. All right, where's the library at here? Alright, yeah, I don't think I've been to this library yet. I know I've been to the ones where, like, the otter guy in there. Oh, yeah, this is a big old library. My chronicles, where are they? What have you barbarians done with my chronicles? Oh, a helpful wizard wanders by. I love it when that happens. I am Adam Usk, chronicler of Avalon. Basically, I write down history. And then these knights steal it because they don't like that they were on its losing side. 
Knights of the Pendragon, you understand? Grumpy bunch, still marching around outside. They stole my chronicles. My kingdom for a secure library. A druidic gallery, you say? Devoted entirely to the history of Avalon? Yes, I would be very interested in overseeing that. But first, you must reacquire my chronicles from the horned brockets in the yard. Are those the little deer guys? A little ring deer looking guy? The... Yep. Okay, chronicles of us. So it looks like you don't have to be max level to do some of these worlds. There's one thing in this world I don't know what they did, but I don't know why they put arena right there. I really don't know. You know how many times I've accidentally got stuck in arena, just kind of walk by it, or like what's across it? I'm questing. <laughs> kind of funny. Oh, there's Genevieve. She was the one that was uh, helping me and the guides. For the Waller guides. Try not to get pulled again. I mean, these guys are like deers, so you know how they just love running right in front of people. <laughs> Especially cars. Don't want to get caught by them. Alright. The Chronicles of Usk! You have them! And now I have them! Thank the great tree we live in a world of helpful wizards. Now, about this Avalon gallery you wish me to manage, how are we to go about building the displays? The practice of Memoria Mundi. I had thought it lost ages ago. It will be interesting to see how it works. Just give me directions to your guild house and I will make my way there. Alright, talk to Adams in the guild house. Alright. Going back to the guild. I'm guessing the other guy is going to be in that Avalon one, so we're just going to run over here. Big old beautiful museum coming up. Yeah, you. Alright. Where's the other guy at? Don't tell me we gotta find them. Is he in like a door or something like that? Or is he roaming around the yard like behind the house or something? I uh, didn't see him. Where'd he go? Maybe he couldn't find my guilt, guys. Maybe he got lost. <laughs> oh, I thought he would have been in there. Maybe he's by the tree? No? Talk to Adam Us. Unknown zone, unknown world. Okay. I have no clue where he went, guys. Maybe I need to go through the Avalon door or something. Like, it's got like, each different rooms, like an Avalon room. 
that could be that could be it. Let's see. Up, up. Wait, was it? Yeah, guild starter. So yeah, it's like the guild Avalon. So it's got to have his own little Avalon room. So it's probably got different rooms. Ah, oh, okay, that makes sense. That is cool. So it's got like a different room for like each one of those worlds. That is wicked. Wow, that's cool. It's like an Avalon house. I've been talking to your Mr. Keltus. Interesting fellow. So it seems we need to harvest Prima Materia specifically from Avalon. As you know, Prima Materia contains a template of the world from which it is collected. With enough of it, I can recreate Avalon for you here. Prima Materia is invisible, but kicked up like dust in magical combat. Use the Prima Magnus outside to collect it. Speak with me to see how much more Prima Materia I need build to build exhibits, exhibits okay. in this gallery. Now, go forth, helpful wizard, and let us immortalize Avalon here together. Let's see, what does he do? Crafting, Avalon, Stone Arch, Pin Dragon Rematch Key. That's downloading everything. Gallery must be a higher tier. Pin Dragon. Yep. Okay. Uh, let me see what he's talking about. Ooh. And there's a lot of stuff there. Catapult exhibit. Okay, then. Did you say we talk jump somewhere? I'm not sure, but we're going to go upstairs and check. I was too kind of excited. What is that thing? Spirituality. A lot this is it. The entire galley must be silver. Okay, so it's got different ranks apparently. What is this? Grand statues. Silver. Oh, there's a bunch of stuff up there. Arms, information, bronze. So there's a bunch of stuff. I'm trying to find out what he said to do. I need to go back. Doesn't give me any more quests. What in the world is that? Looks like I'm inside the book. <laughs> it's funny. I feel like that bookcase would like low key open up like a secret entrance. Well, maybe I need to go back or something? I'm not exactly sure. Information. We're testing the amount of Prima material needed for the exhibit has been reduced. Paddle land, the lightning, the lizard, thunder. It looks like it builds its own self up the more you get done. What was that? Avalon house? Avalon well. What is this? Fever Ear Liquor in Sire Leon Avalon. But this is far guys. Preserve, I don't know. Chat for a hard day's labor. Amp Tree Exhibit. So we got Modded, Sultan, Night Goblin, Hyrule, Avalon. Let's, let's do the house first. Fever Ear Liquor in Leon. Okay. Sire. Oh well. Okay, my health is just mysterically down. That was odd. Uh, I don't know why my health is down. Alright, let's see. Why is this Avalon 0% complete? So I'm assuming we could choose every single one of these doors. Uh, that's 
gonna be a lot of work. I know we'd probably be excited about the Dragon Spire one. That's gonna be a lot of work. It'd be cool if we can like go in here, but we can't. Kind of like a false door out of all these doors here. <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of guild work, I can tell you that. It's gonna be a lot of guild work. Well, guys, I believe that is gonna be it for today's video. Please click that like and sub button. I know this video ended up being an hour long, I wasn't expecting it to be, but like. I got excited and wanted to try the guild stuff out. So we ended up making it like two videos in one. Now you know what the museum looks like. Now you pretty much know kind of what to do. I mean, I'm assuming you would go and fight bosses or the NPCs in those little areas. And once you get all that stuff unlocked, pretty much magnet, you gotta have the potion on apparently. So when you're doing those little quest things, you gotta have this potion on. And you should get the gear, I believe. But, and you guys could all quest together. Or you could do like, one team, like, you know, it's like 12 people could do it. So it says that 12 people can get it. So there's three items at a time. Four can go to this, like Sayar Leon. Four can go to like High Road. Four to go to this area. You guys could all get that done. Especially with the elixirs on, with timers on. Um, that's what it seems like it's gonna be. Alright. And thank you for watching my video, guys. Uh, please hit that like, subscribe button, and have a great night.